Hi guys, it's Lethal here, and here's my follow-up video um, to the Kony 2012 video. And I really thought, I posted a video before, which a lot of you guys would have seen, and I just really wanted to expand on it a little bit more, and I'll talk about it in a little bit more detail. So this is probably going to be a long video, and I haven't got the gameplay for this, so I don't know if I'm just going to put a picture up or add some gameplay to it later. So you'll probably tell that by now, but... I just wanted to speak a little bit more about Kony and uh, share my opinions on this whole issue that's been going around. So basically, I'm just going to take this time because I do have a while to quickly fill you guys in on Kony, even though you probably already know. So Kony 2012 was a 30 minute video uploaded a few days ago, and since then it's got over 50 million hits on YouTube. I'm going to be talking a lot about all this very soon after I give a basic rundown. So um, it's about this Kony guy who is in Uganda and this footage that is in the video was from quite a long time ago and I'm going to, raising all points at the moment, I'm going to be touching on later uh, to sort of, you know, back up what I'm saying. And so it's basically about Kony and he, this video is explaining to us how he's kidnapping all these kids, him and his army are... Uh, you know, abducting kids, using them as sex slaves, um, using them for his army because there's no recruits, so he has to abduct them. And he thinks he's doing good things, so he's obviously lost the plot. And um, so this video is asking us to raise awareness and to get the word out there to make him famous, quoting the video, so the American government can work together to get him arrested. So that is the basic outline of this video and there's a number of things that we haven't been told from this video and I think the main problem is here is um, if you guys are in Australia and you listen to the 7pm project, hopefully I can remember the quote right, He's, one of the guys said um, misinformed information is uh, worse than no information at all and I do agree with that point because uh, what I can see trending is this video, it's going viral and with viral videos, it appeals to the younger audience because it's on YouTube. So all these school-age kids are seeing this video, thinking it's true, and believing everything in there. And they're getting misinformed on this whole situation. And it's basically just a big joke because um, they're, they're targeting the younger generation who are easily influenced and it affects them a lot more than, you know, older people who have been around for a long time and know a bit more about the world and how it works. So essentially they're telling us to, well they're telling these, well they're telling everyone in this 30 minute video that you guys should check out if you haven't seen, um, that Kony, they made out in this video that Kony, like us supporting this is going to help uh, stop these kidnappings and stuff and get Kony arrested. Basically what they didn't tell us is that Kony has been, uh, like his army is diminishing, he's moved out of the country, and his, this video is basically, it sort of hides the fact that it's just promoting it to get him arrested. I think a lot of people have thought that they're trying to stop this. This has already been stopped and it's not as much of an issue as it is, you know, a fair few years ago when it was all happening and nobody seemed to know about it. If you caught up with the news, you would have heard about him quite a lot. But, um, you know, teenagers, they wouldn't hear about it because it was too long ago. So they've sort of hidden the fact that they're just trying to arrest him um, from the audience and, you know, they're trying to get us motivated to stop this and save those children, which is um, definitely a good thing. And now I'm going to be talking about... Uh, the, the positives in this video, and don't get me wrong, I'm saying this straight out that the video is like amazing, it's an incredible video, and they've done a really good job with it, and I'm fully in support of their cause, but um, the way they're going about the advertising, is what I'm calling it, of this charity, is not the best way to do it, so I'll, I'll talk into that, this is the main point I wanted to make, because in the video, they convince people that posting, like, you know, sharing this around, get everyone knowing about this is uh, going to make a difference. Now, to an extent, it will, yes, and um, but I think the most effective way is to write, if you're an American citizen, write to the American government or your senator, like they mentioned in the video. And the fact that they're getting us to pay for posters, so this, this starter kit is $30, right? 
Don't think for a second it costs them $30 to make. So they are profiting from it. I'm going to be touching on that a little bit later in the video. So they're profiting on that and we basically get everything we need to know. We get posters, stickers, etc. that they tell us to post around our city. And it might sound lame saying this, but that is illegal and for a charity to be, you know, telling us to break the law and in quote for a good cause is just misleading these teenage generations into thinking that they're actually doing it for a good cause when really putting posters up in Sydney streets or whatever country you're from is really not going to do anything. 50 million hits worldwide is definitely raising awareness plus the countless TV shows that have reported on this. Putting up a poster is not going to get Coney arrested, right? They reckon it's going to raise awareness. The troops are already in America. They don't need massive awareness. Now, essentially, what this video is doing, they're getting us, they're tricking people. These, they're not really tricking them, but they're influencing these kids to go out and buy posters thinking they're going to save the world. And essentially, what those posters are doing is they're promoting Coney 2012. And so, whoever sees that poster, they're going to be like, Coney 2012, what's that? I haven't heard of that yet. So, they're going to hop on Google, hop on YouTube and check them out. So they're basically advertising for their company. Now the point is argued that it does help uh, raising awareness and sticking these posters up and if that was the case and these organizations was really serious about getting these posters out they wouldn't be charging like making a profit from these these you know simple posters and starter kits. They'd be giving it for cost price and that raises another issue saying this is their job so they have to make money but uh, there's a number of ways they make their money and um, it does not include making us pay for their products that are advertising their video and they're telling us to break the law so I don't, th I don't support that at all I support the video and I support what they're aiming for but um, it's pretty questionable as what's going on here so another thing I wanted to talk about was the video hits, the hits on this video, their, their channel is partnered with YouTube and as of yesterday, they removed their banners and all the branding options. I don't know if that's intentionally, but um, and I can't guarantee they are making money off this, but they do have a partnership and they do have the ability to make money off this video. And if they do, they're making loads of money and that is just slipping under the radar between a lot of people because they don't know about YouTube monetization and similar things like that. So they are making five digit figures a day from this uh, video if they have it monetized and I'm not saying they do for sure um, it's you know a bit of a doubt as to where if they do uh, they did have ads on at the very start and they seem to have taken them off at the moment so that's all you know nothing really can be definitely said about that but I, I really think you guys need to understand that you buying the posters is not going to promote it they're just telling they're just it's not going to stop what's happening in Uganda because that's pretty much already stopped it's slowing down and I think they're just trying to you know promote their charity and get more money in effect because if you think about it promotion gets them more donations which is good it goes to the the people that need it and those donations are definitely great and that's what the charity is there for but if you think about it you look at the statistics that they said themselves it's 37 percent or 31 percent I'm not sure which one it is actually goes to the people in Uganda or Africa and the rest of that goes to different causes and a number of that goes to um, you know giving the the workers their payment so they have to make a profit too because otherwise nothing would get done they don't have any money they don't have any resources so they do have to make a profit so when you guys think about putting these posters up to advertise uh, Kony 2012 thinking you're saving them what you're actually doing is raising more awareness of their company they get more donations which is good but they also get more profits so if you can see the the business type look at on this perspective you'll sort of see and you'll lose interest in buying these posters so um they did in the video mention that um he's i don't know that he's still in the area and they did tell you like i mentioned before that you're going to be able to stop him and we're going to band together. They've sens sensationalized this video and the media does this a whole lot. And um, 
You know, even with promotion of movies, they make the trailer look as good as they can. They make it an like make you have an emotional response to it to engage action from you. It appeals to you emotionally and you want to do something about it. And they've provided what you can do. They've said, you know, post posters up everywhere, stickers, share it with everyone, and that's making them more money. So I really think people need to consider that option a little bit more and uh, think a little bit more in depth before they act on uh, you know, the impulses from this video. Now, the other thing I wanted to make clear is these kids are believing everything in this video. And now, this video is not 100% accurate, nor does it tell you the dates, nor does it give you any proper physical um, evidence of what's taking place. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying none of this stuff happens, because it does. But this video does not give us any hard evidence of what is taking place. So this video is more, if you want to look at it, in the form of a documentary and um, it doesn't really show you both sides of the story so this is their organization and this is their job to raise awareness for the charity and they're doing their job but they're doing it in the wrong way if you ask me and um, these kids that it's appealing to on YouTube are just easily you know influenced by this video and they're believing everything they say because it seems logical but they haven't really thought to themselves and thought, you know, done their own research and gone, hang on, this doesn't add up, this doesn't work. And why am I really posting pictures? People are hiding behind the fact that it is actually going to do something, but it's really not. If you're in Australia, like myself, posting pictures, there's tons of Facebook groups saying, you know, for each local area, posting pictures or posters up, posting posters up, is going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Right, you're raising you're raising awareness for their organisation, and that's all they want. If you want to make a serious difference, you you write to the Australian government. Not that they're involved in this, but you write someone who's in a high authority, who can make decisions on this issue. You don't vandalise your town to post pictures up of an organisation. Imagine if you know, Breast Cancer Foundation. It's exactly the same thing. They're, they, like, have you noticed they're not getting people to buy posters and stick them across the city when cancer's even more of a problem than this thing in Uganda? They're not asking people to break the law to support their organisation. I don't understand that and I don't think it's right. And I think a lot of kids, you know, are being misled by this video and it's quite sad to see them not research it themselves and actually realise this has been going on for years and years and it's on the downfall it's almost diminished right now and this video is actually getting us to support a cause that we think is going to help the kids in the area which it will but Kony is not there anymore this cause these guys their main aim if you watch the video back now after I say the next sentence their aim is to arrest Kony not to prevent him from doing these things because that's already happened their aim is to arrest him. So you go back now and watch that video with that in mind. That's their main goal and you'll see it'll make sense and you'll see how they've tried to hide that fact in the video and, you know, sugarcoat it with you're going to save all these children by donating and stuff. And so, yes, so only 37% goes to this organisation so it's not obviously a serious problem. Otherwise, they'd, they'd prioritise it a lot more. And, um... So I think there's a number of factors that you guys need to sit down and you need to think about before you quickly jump into Kony 2012. And I realize a number of these things are not right in a business standard even, let alone a charity. Um, but another point raised is that these guys do have to make an earning from this and I understand that because that is their job. So of course they're entitled to make profit. Um, if you see Red Cross, however... They're a huge organization and they, you know, give 80 to 90% of their donations straight to what they're donating to. Whereas these guys only do 37 and um, they do have to buy equipment, they have to buy food, they have to buy like planes and stuff to get over there. But the fact that I don't agree with the fact that they're getting us to advertise their charity for them, which essentially makes them more money, and that's the main point that I didn't agree if I'm in full support of stopping Coney 
and preventing him getting him arrested. Um, 100% for that. Good work on raising awareness for this issue, but the fact that they're illegally asking us to advertise for them, I don't think it's right. And the fact that we have to pay, I think is even worse. If they were handing out the posters for free or giving us, you know, like on their website they say, click this link, full screen poster, print it out at your local library, print it out on some A4 paper even, and post them around. I can understand that a little bit more, even though they're still telling us to do something that's illegal. And I know that's not going to bother most people and it's not really a problem. But a, a charity in that place should not be promoting, you know, us doing vandalising the streets. And I don't think that's right. And basically, that's the main problem with Coney 2012. And I've heard a lot of different arguments for it. And I think once you guys understand what's taking place, and hopefully I explained it well in this video, once you guys seem to grasp uh, some of the, the, the hidden issues in Coney 2012, you'll sort of begin to see my side of the story. And a lot of the other people, politicians and stuff, who are against this whole campaign, whereas I'm, I'm not taking it that far. I'm in support of that. But there is a number of organizations. This isn't just happening in Uganda. It's happening across the world, and all of a sudden these people care. Don't one of you tell me that you, have, you don't know that kids are being raped in other countries or that they're be being taken into the military. You guys have heard that way before Kony 2012. But as soon as you, something, as you see something sensationalized, and that brings out your emotions, all of a sudden everyone's on board with it. So they've targeted that area where it lacked, and uh, they've got the response they wanted from it. And I really think you guys should slow down, reconsider what you're doing, and um, basically think for yourself and decide. If you still want to donate, feel free. It's a good cause. But I really think you guys should you know, take in uh, some information apart from this video so that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I hope it summed it up pretty well. I know it's uh, difficult to, you know, voice all my opinion accurately, but I hope it did. And I know this has been a long video, like 18, 19 minutes or something, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would share this around, it'd be really great just to let everyone know a few of the things that are really happening. Uh, that'd be great. So give it a like if you enjoyed. It really does help me out. So thank you guys for watching. Um, think about Coney 2012, and as always, have a great day.